doing active testing for the hamstring. First of all, we'll just have the client bend the knee as far as she can with no resistance just to see if there's any pain or discomfort with that motion. Because the hamstring flexes the knee and also extends the hip, we want to test her active motion as she has the knee bent to 90 degrees and lifts the leg up off the table. Again, noting if there's any pain or discomfort anywhere along the hamstring. Sometimes at this position, people feel a crampiness in the hamstring, which is an indication of possibly some weakness or a lack of resilience in the tissue. For the resisted tests, we can start with the uh, with the leg, with the knee slightly bent and bolstered and ask the client to start slowly and try to bend the knee. We want a good moderate level contraction, looking for pain or discomfort and relax. And that would either be at the ischial tuberosity, somewhere in the musculotendinous junction at the proximal end, musculotendinous junction at the distal end, or somewhere in the tendinous attachments. If you're pain-free in this position, we can come up to sort of 90 degrees and ask the client to do the same thing again. She's going to try to bend her knee, hold that good strong isometric contraction, note if there's any pain or discomfort with that, and relax. Sometimes the muscle will tend to go into spasm here, which indicates some weakness or lack of endurance. To test for pain during hip extension, we're going to ask Sammy to lift her whole leg up off the table and hold it up. And uh, sometimes this will elicit pain. If not, we can add a little active pressure, hold it, and relax. And that will uh, possibly indicate pain or discomfort somewhere along the length of the hamstring. Hamstring tendinopathy would either be ischial tuberosity, musculotendinous junction on either end, sometimes on the tendinous attachments at the distal end. For doing passive motion uh, to test the hamstring, we have the client in the supine position, and I'm going to lift her leg. She's not engaging her muscles at all. I'm doing this for her. We're looking for what happens when we stretch the hamstring? Is there any pain or discomfort as we come up, especially to the end of range of motion? And if there's pain, where is it? Can she identify the location? Either at the distal end, somewhere in the belly, or somewhere at the attachment on the ischial tuberosity. We can also challenge the hamstring by bending the knee first, bringing the thigh to 90 degrees, and then just slowly straightening her lower leg to stretch the hamstring. For the palpatory exam, we are going to look at the areas, primarily what was painful during any of the uh, range of motion tests, especially those resisted tests. Hamstring tendinopathy is most common at its attachment on the ischial tuberosity. Uh, so the first place we're going to do a palpatory test is here. Even if you're previous range of motion testing was all negative, the palpatory exam may reveal some tenderness on the tissues uh, that was not at the level that was enough to create symptoms during the testing. So we want to come up along the length of the leg just to the gluteal fold, palpate for the ischium, and then use flats of fingers to turn up against the ischium the ischial tuberosity, and rub back and forth slowly, checking to see if any of this tissue is tender. Any tenderness here, Sammy? Good. Then we can come down onto the musculotendinous junction, just off of the ischial tuberosity onto the leg. This would be the myotendinous junction of the hamstrings. And again, we're palpating for pain or discomfort somewhere along the width of this tissue. We'll palpate at the distal end for the myotendinous junction for semitendinosus and semimembranosus, as well as for biceps femoris. Because the hamstring blends into the sacrotuberous ligament, sometimes what's described as hamstring pain is actually pain coming from an injured ligament. So we want to assess 
the ligament as well. So from the ischial tuberosity, come going to come up a long line of the sacrotuberous ligament, palpating the edge of the sacrum, just to determine if there's any pain or discomfort along this tissue that might be contributing to the reported hamstring pain. 